by the way I know right pancakes find the connection with that <laughs> happy uh, Hanukkah to the good Jews the bad ones I don't care nothing about any of you happy Hanukkah to the original Hebrews somebody said I'm a bad Jew I think I'm a good Jew Jew. that too look at mommy Ooh. anyway this plate I believe is actually uh, one of the carryovers keepers for my husband's plate don't look at the colors and all of a sudden play a narrative today. Aren't we over the narrative shit? By the way, let's talk about ghosts. Reminding you since we're going to talk about Jews. Oh, I, she's going in. Going in with the truth though. What you going to do to me? Daddy says, you going to do what? Nothing. Now sit and listen. Anyway, this is a story about how I have talked to someone all the time. Well, I text them. I really never did talk to them, you know. I really never knew them. They never gave me that. Well, you know what? They they hid behind. That AI shit is some real shit. I will give y'all. You know, y'all talks on your shit. But bitch. I know, mommy. Be pretty. Classy today. By the way, this is my mom and Nancy Carnegie. Wait. Nancy Sherlock Carnegie Stillman uh, uh, Rockefeller's birthday week, okay? Her name was Sherlock. You know, when you're in your alignment, you'll be led to the right place. A Sagittarius brought me to that place, by the way. And my mom is a Sagittarius. And Nancy Carnegie Sherlock Stillman. I mean, wait a minute. Nancy Carnegie, you know what I'm saying. She's not a still one. Nancy Sherlock Carnegie Rockefeller. What's the Sagittarius? It's their birthday week. Her birthday's on the 15th. My mom's on the 16th. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about ghosts, shall we? Because somebody owes me. Remember how, you know, there's certain things I love on TV. And when Ghosts first came out, I'm like, yay. And it's, it's how the industry plugs into me. I am clearly the plug. But here it is. I'm the, I see the leaves are falling. Oh, good morning. No, really. I'm, I'm looking at a video with... Scan, 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 scanning, 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 back to me. Anyway, let's talk about ghosts in reality. The ghosts, my ghosts, really do protect me. And oh, by the way, shout out to, uh, I won't say your name because I know when I when I start putting a, a, a radar, somebody on the radar, then they come for you, but you got this. Yeah, actually, I did have an Uncle Gus. Uncle Gus and Aunt Addie, who were a bit of, they were a bit of drunks. The family, the family, uh, they lived near us off of Bridger Street. But the other family, you know, across the uh, river, didn't really have anything to do with them. Because, you know, they were drunks and a little bit of, you know, I mean, they had some addiction problems. But they, uh, other than their addictions, they were really, really good people. They were always nice to me always kind to me. Now, I heard that Uncle Gus could be a mean-ass motherfucker. <laughs> like, you don't know my relatives like I do. But here's the deal. Daddy brought, and my mom really, you know, my mom, you know what? If my mom didn't completely want them in the house, is it soft, more soft? No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Get back to get back to uh, get back to my music. Don't bitch. Don't spoil my vibe. Anyway, my mom really didn't want them always coming to the house because you know you know, alcoholics will come where they feel like the liquor is. They know my mom and my dad had the good liquor, but you know my mom also kept mid liquor. <laughs> like, okay, now you would say Val. That was that was wrong. No, that was Sagittarius. Because listen, when you get to a certain stage being an alcoholic, even a drug addict, you don't even know if the alcohol is that good or not. You just want alcohol. And I told you, my mom and my dad both being top shelf people like they do, I mean, they are top guns. Still top guns. Why do you think I'm one? 
bitch, I'm not you. Somebody gets that message. Don't you, but you still mad at me? Why? Why are you mad at me? I, I You know, the ad line should be like reaching out to me and saying hi. Because we're going to get to that ghost thing, right? But I'm going to finish talking about Uncle Gus and Aunt Addie. So, Mommy would hide the good liquor. But, you know, but she treated them kindly. I mean, she never kicked them out of the house. As opposed to the preaching relatives across the way. They're cousins too, right? But they didn't even want them to come around. In fact, when uh, Uncle Gus died and everything, Daddy made sure, and I didn't think Daddy made sure that they were buried right. But what did the other family members do? Nothing. But they're preachers, right? Always begging for forgiveness and your money too. The one, same ones that I should not have some land, but I don't. That's okay. Mommy knew. Daddy did too. That's why I do not go across the river uh, unless I'm just going through to the beach. I got good ghosts watching me. Let's get back to, so I love this show on CBS called Ghost. I was like, yeah, okay. Like, I, like I don't know you plugged into me. And then it was going along so well. And next thing I knew, here come the little Adlon girl coming in. Somebody's ex-girlfriend or maybe current girl. I don't know. I don't know. Were you all trying to do Jewish Kabbalah shit over me? Were you trying to do a Madonna over me? Were you trying to do a Madonna over Michelle and Degel Chell over me? Bitch, I slayed you all. My mommy is that. How you feeling? Oh. From the real one. Ho, 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 ho. So anyway, now it's going to be CBS UK version of Ghost. By the way, I stopped watching the show because of that. See, once I start smelling cat, I clap back and take all my energy back. You're going to pay for that. One way or another, you're going to pay me. Yes, you will. I don't care what pill you take, the red or the blue pill, but I will always be the green pill for real. Pancakes. Who's going to say I'm anti-Semitic today? What Jewish army coming after me today? I think you better sit down and stay out my way. That's what somebody in the higher up said. What would Jesus do if there was a J? Minding you, there were no J's back in the times. May we speak Aramaic? Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know what that is. But you'll listen to King 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 Fairy as uh, 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 James and William Shakespeare. Okay. And also, Taming of the Shrew. Of all the William Shakespeare plays, I love myself Taming of the Shrew. Elizabeth Taylor of Pisces, too, and Richard Burton, we know the drama they beat. Did somebody think that we were going to do that? No, 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 no. Oh, was I the shoe that you were supposed to tame? Was I the narrative that jumped out of the frame? I bet you on your dying breath, you will utter my name. I am being nice today, Mommy. Oh, Miss Nancy said, go, girl. Sherlock, <laughs> Sherlock says she sees... Oh, I'm about ghosts. Where's my pay? You think I'm kidding? Okay. Do you? And I'll just do me today eating pancakes. Not Kanye. Poor, 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 poor things. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to say. Ho, ho, ho. Let the angels in nature sing. home and has always been the realest, illest thing. But somebody tried to play me for a narrative. Drip. Drip. Dripping syrup. What you eating today? No, I always want what you eating. What you? What did you eat? Apparently, you can't hardly eat anything. Are you eating pancakes today, or you have too much sugar in your veins? Oh, that part too. 
you mad at me? You mad at me? What did I do? Because do we really want to talk about what you did to me and your whole goddamn family and all the people? And what did you, did you sit and watch or were you a part of it? And that thought of us, mm, mommy said not today. Be pretty. You're prettier than they'll ever be. No makeup, no fake hair, no fake narrative, no hype team, no clout team, no you. That's the message. No you. Did you get it? No you. You could take that both ways. I'm sure you do, but that's not what it's meant for. No you. Those who get it, get it. Anyway. That's just a start. That's just a start. I've got three more um, non-monetized poetic justice sessions for today. Shout out to Jalil of Houdini who went off on Instagram. I saw that, bro. On Russell Simmons. Yeah, I know. Shout out to uh, Chris Smith of Chris Cross. Kelly's Heroes, Kelly's Heroes in every way. Mommy said, just do this. This gets to me. Okay. It's the fort for me. <laughs> I curved the word, mother. I'm bringing comedy. Ho, ho, ho. They thought they'd be funnier than me. They're about as funny as mud drying. And soon they'll be drying up too, see? Ooh. Don't blame me. Blame you. Your magic went bad. So sad. Who do you blame? Your mom and your dad. You can, but do you blame you in this equation? Because you had a part. You had a part. No. You. That's the message for today. More on the way. I don't need to bring anyone in in this. I'm good by myself. It's that part. It's a hand glow for me. I'm milking this up to like, where we're we're gonna take it to. 7-7, seven, seven, 14 minutes. Count it down. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Trash man's just come around. <laughs>